Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge Blade Works. So this is part two of my uh, video questions. Uh, the other day you guys asked me some questions and I'm gonna go ahead and answer those questions now. And you'll have to watch part one and then we're on part two now. So anyways, the next question was from Joseph Russell, one of my favorite guys on YouTube also. Uh, Shiny Knife, Neil Wolf, you guys are awesome, man. Rick Harris, uh, Sunset Bay Bonnie. I mean, I can name a thousand people on YouTube that I just adore. You guys are great people and I really appreciate the support. But uh, Joseph Russell asked me, what kind of fishing do you like? Bait and weight or lures or fly fishing or what? Um, I'd have to say lures fishing and that would be off the bank. I like to put a lure on, throw it out there, you know, cast and bring it back in and cast and bring it back in. That's kind of my favorite and I like to sit on the bank. I'm not a boat fisherman. Unless it's a little canoe, kayak, or a little aluminum boat, I'll sit there all damn day long with a lure and just, because I don't have the patience to just sit and wait, you know, like, come on, bite, bite. I like to throw it out there and reel it in and just do that over and over. I do that all day long from sun up to sundown. It's a blast. And anything to do with the outdoors, I'm, I'm all over it. So, hell yeah. Um, I would have to say my favorite kind of fish would be uh, to fish for and to eat would be catfish and crappie. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, <coughs> where I came from in California, there was the Delta, and there was always uh, these big old crappie that, uh, that when I was younger, I'd go ride my bike down to the Delta, and I'd have my dog and my bike and my fishing pole, and I'd be out there until dark, and my parents would be come looking for me and everything else, and I'd have a whole stringer full of catfish and crappie, and that's, that's why I had it. It just brings back really good memories, you know? But thanks, Joseph. Appreciate that. And the next question would be from uh, Flint and Steel Survival. What's your dream vehicle? It would have to be a black flamed chopped 50 Mercury. 1950 Mercury, chop top, fender skirts, gangster white walls, spinner hubcaps, not the new style spinners. I'm talking the old vintage 50 style spinners. The ones that they'd have like the naked lady on the, <laughs> I'm just joking. But uh, I like the old style Cadillac hubcaps and whatever. And uh, the, the old 50 Mercury's all chopped down with like all black or black primer with the flames all over them or a black 50 Mercury convertible, which I sold. I wish I wouldn't have never done that. I built an awesome custom and and uh, a guy offered me some money for it and I didn't want to sell it. And he says, well, here, I'll give you this much money for it. And I was like, the freaking car is yours. So I kick myself in the ass every day for selling that thing. And the next question from Flint and Still Survival would be, uh, where would you one day like to visit? I would all, I've always wanted to go to Ireland and Scotland and I wouldn't mind Italy, but my mom went to Italy and she says it was a real cesspool. It was a nasty ass place and I was like all right well sh sh scratch that one off I don't want to go there um Ireland and Scotland's always just uh been fascinating to me I, I want to kiss the Blarney Stone in Ireland I think that'd be pretty cool just to do it and uh my my family heritage is Italian and Vikings if you you know Scandinavian so uh or the Norse and so the Ireland and Scotland area, you know, all that is just, to me, is just fascinating, awesome, and everything that went on there, a lot of history there. And I'm really into history. I'm a huge, huge history buff. I like to read about history, watch stuff on TV about history and all that. Um, the other place I'd like to visit, and I'm hoping that I could do this pretty soon, um, would be England. And I had a good friend of mine that lives here by us, and we got real close with him. One of our real good friends, we went to all the car shows with him and stuff, and that's English Steve. And uh, English Steve ended up moving back to England uh, with his family, and, uh, you know, we miss him. And I wish we could be back there to visit with him, you know, every once in a while where we could see him and stuff. And that would be pretty cool to see England. And uh, I know that if I was back there with him, that he'd take us to some cool spots. So that would be pretty cool. But uh, Flint and Still Survival, thanks a lot for, uh, you know, throwing those questions out there. One of my other favorites is uh, James McIntyre. And I hope I'm saying your name right. Is that right? I don't know. Hopefully you can answer that in the deal below or whatever. But uh, James McIntyre asked me, uh, what is your most favorite tool in the garage and do you use it all the time? I would, <clears throat> excuse me, I would have to say the English wheel is my absolute favorite. And uh, if I had to pick a second one, it'd be my plasma cutter that's sitting right here next to me. Um, the English wheel is awesome. 
Oh, man. Damn, it's like getting late. It's probably almost four now. <laughs> but anyways, uh, excuse me for yawning. Um, the English wheel, you can make fenders, hoods, doors, and I can make all that stuff on the English wheel and uh, tops for cars, fender skirts. I'm always making like fender skirts or some, some crazy stuff. Or, you know, if a door has rust on it, I'll cut the whole damn thing off and make a brand new section for the door and I'll roll it on the English wheel and use that. And uh, it's, I just love it. And, and this is my favorite English wheel that I've, that I've had because my old one, I made it too, but it was just a piece of junk. But this one that I have now that's right in front of me, it's, uh, it's one of my favorites. I love it. And my plasma cutter is, uh, there's no way I can live without that. Uh -huh. Damn, are you guys getting sleepy too? I, you know, I knew that was going to happen. I was going to sit down and answer these questions and I was going to fall asleep. And I got all this work to do on my car. This is your fault, James. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> the plasma cutter. That's my other favorite tool in the shop. And uh, that's what I cut out that deal on. And I think you guys said you put it in Jimmy's bedroom, that uh, little roadster I made him. That was all cut out with the plasma cutter. And, and I did all that freehand, just cut it out. And uh, that was a fun project. And uh, hello, Jimmy. But anyways, uh, thanks for asking those questions, James. And uh, one of my other favorites on YouTube, she asked a million questions. And she's always embarrassed about asking these uh, questions. And... I like the question, so don't, you know, it doesn't bother me. Thank you. And uh, that's Stella P. And uh, she asked, about bushcraft, who has been your biggest influence? Bar none, I would have to say Ray Mears. Ray Mears is my absolutely, he's awesome. The guy is a master at bushcraft and survival skills out in the woods. And he's just amazing. I've read every book I could find on him. I've watched every movie I could see that he that's had Ray Mears in it. I've tried to find everything I can on YouTube with Ray Mears, tons and tons of research. And uh, through the years, I watched that guy before he got famous. I was a you know younger kid, um, probably nine, 10 years old, somewhere in there. And I remember Ray Mears back in the day and just, he was awesome. And I think I read something about, he was like an SAS Special Forces or something like that. And so that kind of fascinated me a little bit because of my uncle Victor and that, so my, Uncle Victor and my grandpa would have to be the other influence with uh, bushcrafting and survival stuff. So, but yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. I'd say as far as bushcrafting influences, it'd have to be uh, Ray Mears. But anyways, uh, thank you, Stella P. I appreciate you uh, asking the questions. And I waited about a week to answer these questions. And I didn't want, want my video to get lost because I make so many videos at a time. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just, that's why I wanted to answer all these questions tonight. And I'm going to call it quits and uh that was the last question for the night and i'm gonna get up and go back to work on my car before it gets too late because if not i'm gonna fall asleep right here start to get tired have a couple oranges and some water and put up put some death metal music on and rock out while i'm working on my car <laughs> anyways thanks a lot you guys appreciate the support